students i have already explained why the movement or why uh, goldfinch the way she enters it enters into the thickness of the uh, tree is described as uh, the movement or like a lizard in the last line and a machine starts up actually goldfinch is the engine of the family the image of machine here refers to the young ones of the bird as as students we know that a machine makes a lot of noise when it starts similarly when the young birds see their mother they start chirping like a machine uh, how fluttering their wings fastly in joy as their mother has come with food they were hungry as well as sad being far from their mother so the entry of the moment goldfinch arrives there her arrival is called a machine a machine how the image of machine is referred here ki jaise hi goldfinch enter karti hai thickness mein waise hi sare ke sare jo uske young ones hain birds hain jo small वो साउंड क्रिएट करने लगते हैं क्यों क्योंकि वो खुश हैं उनकी मदर उनके लिए फूड लाई है क्यों क्योंकि वो भूखे भी थे और वो सैड भी थे ऑन बीइंग फार फ्रॉम द मदर नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ चिटरिंग्स द मशीन स्टार्ट्स आप ऑफ चिटरिंग्स एंड ट्रिमोर ऑफ विंग्स and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrill machine machine how machine starts of chittering the sound created by the young ones and uh, the waving of their wings the whole tree trembles and thrills now because of the mother bird and her young ones the poet probably wants us to feel how a dead like tree becomes alive because it has given space to the bird and her young ones the birds have gotten shelter and the tree in return has got life the whole tree trembles and thrills the whole tree trembles and thrills because of the mother bird and her young ones the poet wants to say the poet wants to make it clear that the dead like scene of the laburnum tree is changed or uh, becomes alive because it has given space to bird and her young ones ek life aa jati hai laburnum tree mein the moment uh, the bird enters into the tree it is the engine of her family it is the engine of her family before it the moment the goldfinch tree enters it was called machine the starting of machine how it was a machine i already explained now it is the engine of her family the goldfinch is the engine of her family which includes the laburnum tree as well how according to the poet it fills them with fuel that is it gives food to the young ones and if we talk about uh, the coming of the goldfinch the moment goldfinch tree enters into the um, tree goldfinch tree enters into the tree it gives life because before this the tree was quite silent there was no movement there was no life it is the engine of her family engine uh, actually uh, the goldfinch brings fuel to her young ones 
so she is the engine it is the engine of her family yes beta thereafter in the next para she strokes it full then flirts out to a branch and the fuel which the food which the goldfinch brought for her young ones she feed them to their fill then flirts out to a branch and thereafter feeding the young ones to their fill the goldfinch comes to the end of the branch showing her barred face identity mark actually goldfinch has certain bars black color uh, stripes on her body uh, goldfinch comes to the after feeding the sparrows uh, sorry not sparrows the young ones uh, after feeding the young one she comes to the end of the branch and there after coming at the end of the branch she shows her uh, barred face which is her identity actually goldfinch shows her identity clear um, the bird is also of yellow color the leaves are yellow but her face uh, the bars on her face um, makes her identity clear thereafter then with air airy means strange delicate whistle chirp whisperings she launches away towards the infinite infinite it is described reaching that the goldfinch reaching the branch end of the tree it makes strange but sweet chirping sounds and then begins his journey towards the infinite the infinite here stands for the sky the goldfinch starts its journey to the infinite sky and the laburnum tree again and the laburnum subsides to empty the laburnum tree again becomes silent and dead like why uh, the bird makes sweet sound just because it is satisfied after feeding the young ones it becomes satisfied in its satisfaction it comes with delicate whistle chirpings making very light sound she comes out to the end of the branch and once again goes to the sky leaving the laburnum tree alone why does the bird go to the um, end of the yeah or why does the bird go to the infinite means sky obviously to collect once again food which is called fuel uh, to the young ones that's it now if we discuss certain questions of the poem why does the goldfinch enters the thickness the cautious cautious goldfinch enters the tree with great care why because that no predator no poacher would spot her babies which are securely housed in the nest wo chup chap kyun aati hai taki koi bhi predator uske young ones ko na dekh sake जो कि सिक्योरली नेस्ट में वहाँ पर है वट इज़ द मशीन दैट स्टार्ट अप विद द अराइवल ऑफ द बर्ड एज द बर्ड अराइव्स हर लिटिल वंस बिकम एक्साइटेड टू सी द मदर एंड दे स्टार्ट चर्पिंग एंड फ्लॉटिंग देयर विंग्स टू गेट फूड फ्रॉम देयर मदर इट सीम्स एज द मशीन स्टार्ट अप वट इज द बर्ड्स मूवमेंट कंपेयर विद the movement of the goldfinch movement is compared to a lizard why it is compared with the movement of lizard actually the basis of the comparison is that it is sleek 
abrupt and alert like a lizard the same kinds of movements are observed when the goldfinch arrives on the laburnum tree that's why the movement of goldfinch are compared to a lizard if we ask uh, why is the image of the engine evoked by the poet an engine is a source of energy to run a machine it is compared to the bird as she is to a source of energy for her family a machine cannot work without an engine similarly the bird's family cannot survive without her if we talk uh, what is the engine of the of her family engine the nest with little ones is the engine of the goldfinch family they start chirping and flirting their wings to see their mother with food it is called engine it is called the machine of the family why does the bird flirt out to a branch and showing her bad face actually the bird is very cautious about the safety of her young ones she also reveals her identity to the baby babies by showing her bad face it is the mark of her recognition and reminds them that she is their mother if we ask um uh, yeah what does the phrase her bad face identity mask mean actually the phrase means that the bird's bad face becomes her identity mask as well as a mark of recognition i suppose we have discussed almost all the questions related to the poem but now i would like to tell you a uh, certain more question where does the bird fly to the bird flies in uh, the bird leaves its babies and flies in search of more food before they feel hungry again what happens to the laburnum tree with the departure uh, with the mother's departure what happens to the laburnum tree with the mother bird's departure the laburnum tree becomes calm and quiet quiet again i suppose we have discussed almost all the questions now i would like to tell you the poetic devices used in this particular poem yes students now in this particular poem we have already discussed uh, the mm, line by line explanation i have already given line by line explanation now it's time to tell you the poetic devices in the second line see the second line of the para in the afternoon yellow september sunlight september sunlight i told you repetition of same sound so alliteration has been used here next poetic device is in the third line of second para then sleek as a lizard as a lizard as or like words here the comparison of the movement of goldfinch with the movement of lizard has been given so simile has been used thereafter a machine of uh, fourth line of second stanza machine starts up here the machine of chitterings it is the machine of her family the machine so the poetic device here used is metaphor next device if we say uh, it is the engine of her family the goldfinch bird is called the engine of her, her family machine of her, of her family so metaphor has been used here and her bad face identity mask actually the shadow on the bird's face is compared to an identity mask last line uh, second last line her bad face last line of second para showing her bad face identity mask 
here her the shadow on the bird's face is compared to an identity mask so metaphor has been used in this line also the whole tree trembles and thrills come to the uh, fifth one sixth line of second stanza the whole tree trembles and thrills the whole tree trembles and thrills tree is given human action so personification has been used her bard face identity mark the flowers of the laburnum plant are bard but here it is placed before the bird's face so her bard face identity mask transferred epithet has been used to is line mein two devices are there metaphor her bard face because the shadow on the bird's face is compared to an identity mark so metaphor has been used but if we see uh, the word bard has been used for her face so transferred epithet has been used i suppose the poem is clear to all thank you beta